Tony Stewart is completely done with NASCAR. Stewart is sick with NASCAR. Since then, Tony Stewart has unleashed a firestorm of criticism on NASCAR in an associated press report. NASCAR has had a horrible week, and it keeps getting worse. Hello, Viscarians, and welcome back to NASCAR Zone. But before we begin, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. So let's talk about Tony's tweet that stirred things up, and then we'll talk about that Associated Press article. Stuart Haas Racing will be talked about a lot. In this video, they will say why they shouldn't have to pay the fine. Yesterday, a penalty was given to the 41 driver crew and car, which if you didn't already know, sent the NASCAR world into a frenzy. There has been a lot of talk about this, but Stuart House Racing is going to appeal this penalty. We'll have to see how that goes for them. Alex Bowman will miss the next three races because he still has a concussion from a crash in the back at Texas Motor Speedway. The good news, if you can call it that, is that NASCAR said they will pay for safety updates to the next generation car when they come out, but that won't make Alex Bowman feel any better. He will try to go to Phoenix for the last game of the season. Adam Stern says that NASCAR is thinking about building a street course in New York City. If the Chicago street course works out, which I'm not sure is going to happen, and neither are a lot of other people. I think I talked about it about two months ago. We know that neither the city of Chicago nor the people who live there are happy about it. What do you think about Chicago giving welcome to NASCAR? Let us know in the comments section below and do subscribe to our channel for future updates. I have no idea what they are thinking by choosing New York City, and as far as I'm aware, Formula One has already attempted something similar to this before. It was across the river in New Jersey, but it didn't work out even further back. The cart was close to a Manhattan Street course race in 1992, but it didn't happen. It was because the New York mayor at the time was against smoking and the race was going to be called the Marlboro Grand Prix of New York. If the mayor hadn't been against smoking, the race probably would have happened, but we'll see how that works out for NASCAR. The big news is that Tony Stewart is done with NASCAR. It all started with a vague tweet in which Tony said he was looking for a new weekend hobby that wasn't based in the Southeast, but was still in the Southeast. Again, is it NASCAR? If anyone has any ideas, I think it might be NASCAR. I'd rather it be something low stress and relaxing, but it got even more exciting a few hours ago. Stephen Hawkins of the Associated Press talked to Stewart, Tony Stewart about the fines that NASCAR has given to his team. Right now, he is so mad at NASCAR, he doesn't bring it up. I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm so mad at NASCAR right now, I'm not talking about it. I'm just, it's not, it's, I, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm going drag racing this weekend. Super glad I'm going drag racing this weekend. And, if it weren't for the fact that I've got a couple appearances that, that I have to make, I wouldn't be at another NASCAR race the rest of the year. Wouldn't waste my time. So Tommy Stewart's tweet wasn't prompted by something that wasn't his moment. He's had a few drinks and now wants to start tweeting. I think it was planned and thought out that he would send that tweet. He told his people that he wanted to send out this tweet, and they looked at it and said, OK. What do you think about Tony Stewart's behavior? Let us know in the comments section below and do subscribe to our channel for future updates. Tony Stewart wanted to get the word out, and now that he's talked to the Associated Press and been even more clear about what he means and how he feels about NASCAR, wow, when did all this stuff come out? I kind of wondered to myself, and I even said it on Twitter, if NASCAR could lose Tony Stewart because of all of this. Tony Stewart is still a big name in NASCAR, and he might actually sell his share to Gene Haas and go to NHRA racing or sprint car racing instead of just talking. Maybe go Indy car racing. I know that he probably wouldn't want to go Indy car racing because it's low stress, but Tony Stewart has the world at his feet. If he is so upset with NASCAR and does not want to continue competing in the series, he is not obligated to do so. I think he could probably find a way out. And here's the thing. If you look at the list of problems Tony Stewart has had to deal with in NASCAR, especially in the last two years, things start to make a lot of sense. He missed out on a chance to work with Kyle Larson because Ford said no. Seeing what Rick Kendrick has been able to do with Kyle Larson, win championships, and look like they're going to the Indy 500 next year in some way, 
would make anyone want to check it out. That sounds like something Tony Stewart will indeed enjoy and have fun with, doesn't it? Because Tony still doesn't get Kyle Larson. NASCAR took Eldora off of the schedule for the truck series and put Knoxville in its place. I don't think Tony Stewart was very happy about that. In point of fact, I believe that that was one of the factors that contributed to his decision to create the SRX series. You look at how Tony Stewart's forward driver, Kurt Busch, got hurt at Pocono. Busch was one of the most successful drivers for Stewart's own NASCAR Cup Series team. Then you look at how Tony Stewart's current driver, Kevin Harvick, is starting to talk about the next generation car. It's about safety and how outspoken they are about NASCAR, and all of an unexpectedly, they get a penalty and a fine of $100,000. Rodney Childers was given a four-race suspension for the Declan incident that occurred at Talladega. Now, a lot of people could or could not have anything to do with these things. Think they go together even though the team was penalized, the point is still the same. Then this week, Colchester was penalized and his crew chief was suspended indefinitely for the same thing that happened to Kevin Harbick and his Hendrick Motorsports teammates last year. There was no penalty lever levy, which makes Tony Stewart very angry. No question about it. When does Tony's involvement with NHRA become too much? Or when does the last straw finally break the camel's back? I think he loves NHRA much more than NASCAR right now because he is involved in and loves NHRA. It is also amusing because this week it came out that Hey Dodge won't be coming to NASCAR in the same week that Tony Stewart said, Hey, I really like NHRA. And then Dodge was like, yeah. Both of these things happened in the same week. We also like NHRA, but I don't know if Tony Stewart and Dodger have anything to do with each other. Tony Stewart is a very well-known name in NASCAR. He is a name that NASCAR should surely be listening to when he has grievances. And if, heaven forbid, Tony Stewart does actually sell his stakes in Stewart Haas Racing, he is a name that NASCAR should absolutely be listening to. I mean, he's already going on and on about it. Who would take his place if he were to leave? You don't look at Dale Jr. right. Dale Jr. doesn't think it's worth it to buy a NASCAR charter the way things are right now. It looks like a snowball is rolling down a hill and quickly turning into a glacier. Where does that glacier end up? And what will happen when it hits something solid? I don't know what's going on, but it seems crazy right now, and I think you should pay close attention to what's going on because these are important weeks for NASCAR and its future. What thoughts do you have regarding this? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. So, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.